And if there was a liter of fuel sitting on the road, would people just pass by it? No. They'd stop and they'd pick it up. And so the opportunity really didn't lie in the plastic itself or in that people were discarding it. It's just that we didn't value it anymore. And who's used a plastic spoon? Someone close. Did, and, and you got the spoon from a takeout counter probably somewhere, Correct. right? They gave you the spoon. Yes. So it was free. Yes. So plastic is free, you think, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. So this is a bit of the challenge. Plastic spoon, we think it's free, but when we consider the infrastructure that has to go into the crude oil to begin with, when we think of all the refineries around the world, or even this structure out in the sea somewhere, billions of dollars of infrastructure to take this crude out of the ground. Think of all the miners and everything else that were in that process. And they take that crude and they send it to a refinery, perhaps billions of dollars again. Refineries all over the world, tens of billions of dollars. Goes into a mold and voila, we have a spoon. But it doesn't end because then we take that spoon and we wrap it in more. <laughs> but that's not enough because then we put it in a box. We take that box and we put it in a case. But that's not enough because we take the case, we put it on a pallet, we put it in a truck, it gets shipped across the city, it goes onto the shelves of your local store, where you get in your SUV, you drive across town, and you buy a spoon. And at some point, we believe that this spoon costs less than the one in your drawer. But I'm not sure how we got to that point. This plastic spoon's very expensive, but it doesn't end there. It goes on, because then we dispose of the spoon. It's gotta go somewhere, because maybe we've used it for what, two, three seconds? We stirred a coffee, maybe, right? We put it in the garbage can, it gets picked up by a big truck, goes to another multi-billion dollar landfill, if we're lucky. If it stays in the landfill, we're lucky. If it doesn't, it gets into our waterways. Or perhaps it makes it into the belly of an albatross in Midway Island. I'm not sure if many of you have seen these pictures. I hope you have. This is from an albatross rookery, Midway Island, 2,000 miles from any shore, one of the most remote pieces of land in the world. Well, the albatross come to lay eggs, hatch their young. And they are the dying and starving full. Here's a chick. You can see bottle tops. Cigarette lighters, floats, little pieces of plastic. So much plastic in the ocean that animals are dying around the world. And there we have our plastic spoon again. All this plastic, 200 and some odd pieces from the bellies of birds. I'm going to get you to take a quick moment to look at this plastic, and I need you to look and count all of the red plastic pieces. You have to count them all because in a moment I'm going to get you to turn to your partner and reveal the number that you see. Do you see all the red plastic pieces? Do you see them all? Right? Can you count them? You think you've got an idea? And if you participate in this, this could profoundly change the way you view things. Red. Count them all. Now turn to your partner and tell them how many green pieces you see. So really, so the example there is that what you think about is what you see. What you think about, what you focus and give your attention to is what will be revealed. Now, I also conclude that for everything you do, there's something you give up. And for all of the people in this room, all of the people who have impact in community and society, you also have a choice in what you do. And yes, we can be here and we can think of all of the problems and we can talk about why things shouldn't happen or we can change our paradigm and look at the way things should happen and so that we can reveal more and more of that to ourselves. I use the example of marriage and for those of you who are here that are married, I would argue that the last thing that you did when you were at that altar was say yes to your spouse because in fact what you did was say no to everybody else in the world. I recognize that there's eight trillion pounds of plastic sitting on the face of the earth and it's starting to affect the environment. It's starting to enter our food chain and I saw that as a tremendous problem but more importantly I 
changed the way that I looked at the world and I recognized that there must be a solution in it because I'm an entrepreneur and what I do is I find solutions.